This video is all about how to create a custom tool crib for your G-Wizard feeds and speeds. Custom cribs are selected here right below the tool menu and they customize what appears on the tool menu. You can use custom tool cribs to set up what tools are actually in the tool changer of your vertical machining center, to set up tools that are in the cart next to the machine, uh, to set up tools that you have available in your shop, tools that are uh, in a special crib that are there for rework because you need to replace the inserts, sharpen the end mill, replace the end mill perhaps. All of the above are valid types of custom tool cribs. You create a custom tool crib by going to the setup tab and selecting the tool crib tab. And as you can see we have one default crib already created. Let's make a new one. This is a crib that was inspired by a friend of mine named Peter and we're going to call it the Millen and Drillin tool crib. So Millen and Drillin is all about the idea that most of the time what we have are a never-ending variety of carbide TIALN end mills that's all Peter uses and high-speed steel twist drills and that there are a few other more specialized types of tooling that don't change much uh, that sit around the shop. So let's start out. Let's create our, uh, I'll put it in slot one. Let's create our carbide end mill. All right, so we give it a name. We pick the tool type. We set it to be generic because we're only going to create one entry here and when you actually go to use it in feeds and speeds you'll enter the particulars for this type of tooling uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, let's then add uh, slot 2. I want high-speed steel twist drills. All right, and again we give it a name and we choose it and we're going to make those also be a generic type of tooling. Now the last uh, tool I think I'll add here, I've already got a spot drill and I've got a couple of uh, uh, default end mills in here. I want to add a face mill. I got a very nice uh, Glacern FM45 face mill that I'm real fond of. It gives a great surface finish. So let me just go ahead and enter that bad boy in here. It's a 3 inch diameter face mill. It's got six inserts and it's a 45 degree lead angle tool. Alright, so there's our face mill and in fact I want to put that in uh, uh, slot number three. Okay, so we got the end mills, the twist drill, the face mill. I'm going to delete uh, a couple of these tools because I just am not going to use them. I'm going to delete uh, the two end mills that are hardwired and so now what I have left is I've got a spot drill. Everybody should have a spot drill. I've got the uh, TIALN uh, end mills, which are generics. I've got the high-speed steel twist drills, which are generics. And I have a face mill. So then if we go back over to feeds and speeds, and uh, we've got no, no crib selected, we come down select our milling and drilling crib. And you can see I, that's the set of tools I get. And so, for example, the spot drill, uh, the tool diameter entry is grayed out. It's a single size, it's hardwired. But if I go down to a carbide end mill, I get to fill out all of this data. It's a generic, and so I have the flexibility to choose what I want. Or here again, if I go to my face mill, again, that's already all filled out. So now I've got a tool crib that's set up to work exactly with the type of tooling that I use every day in the in the shop. It's the tooling that I own, and it's very flexible and uh, it's just that much quicker for me because I don't have to pick any of the other things off the list uh, that are not that are not generally available to me. Now I can always go back to the no crib choice and get back all the generics if I need them there uh, but meanwhile my my new milling and drilling tool crib is really handy. So check that out. Go ahead and uh, set up your own custom tool cribs if you like and uh, I think it'll save you some time around the shop. Thanks very much for listening.